Hello everyone, uh, this is another book vlog and from my previous one which looked at a book by Pierre Verger got me inspired to talk about another book that also includes Brazil and this is by Mikel Smith Omari Tunkara and it's Manipulating the Sacred and just look at the cover um, I think she also did some field work in Nigeria and you see an Iyanifa divining with a with an equale and I think that that is the Araba during his initiation and uh, Mikel Smith Omari she has written another book which is older than this one this one was published in 2005 and she wrote another one I think it's called something like from the inside to the outside, the art and ritual of Bayan Candomblé. But this one I particularly like because it has chapters that you would want to read. Let me just go to the contents page. One second. Here we go. So we have Ileache, History, Agency and Sites of Resistance. Uh, Mikkel is an art professor, so she mixes her knowledge and scholarship on art with art theory in Afro-Atlantic religions, and she does a fantastic job with Candomblé, and it's, uh, her books are some of the best in my consideration on the arts, aesthetics, but also the rituals of Candomblé available in English. So if you do want to learn a bit more about Candomblé Orisha practice, this is the book for you. We have also um, Ashe, Cosmology and Divination Yoruba Religion, um, Yemanja, Yemoja, a great chapter on the Mother of the World and how she re relates to the Aye. Ancestors, Egungung, as you might know in Candomblé, in Brazil, there are Egungun compounds, uh, the masquerading traditions of the ancestors. And we have also a chapter on the Ibeji there. So let me just flip through. Let's look for some photos. And there are some color photos. Photos make everything better. Okay, what do we have? Altar for Twins in the Republic of Benin. Check that out. And uh, Candomblé Yawo, Palo da Costa, sorry for my mispronunciation of Portuguese. I love Candomblé altars. So she really connects some of Brazilian Orisha practice with contemporary uh, Orisha and Ifa practices in Nigeria, again like Verge, um, making some of the connections. There's the Ianifa, Fawende Mopuelola in Oyo, published back in nine, uh, photographed back in 1991. There she is with her fierce equile. I want to make one like that as well. She, uh, Mikel, also speaks about the Hopa de Shan Santo. The clothes that um, Ialorisha and Iawo wear. And I really wish she would have um, done a book like this about Lukumi religion. Wouldn't that be amazing? Some of the statues taken out of the shrine for Yemaya in Nigeria, Abeokuta. Some possession priests. So this is a really nice book that you can just dip in and out of and I would pick it up if I were you. I'm going to continue to put links to Amazon or wherever I can find uh, that allows you to buy them if you wish. And here, look at this. Lineage Shrine for Egungung and it's in, located in the largest house in the compound. This shrine contains palm tree switch, Ishang cowries for divination and wood and cloth masquerades in Ilesha uh, photographed by the author in 1982 
So if you ever wanted to know what an Egungung ancestor shrine within the Igbale, as it's called, go to her book. So I hope you find this useful and we, I think we should all just try and learn as much as we can about our sister traditions. It makes us better informed and to help us form communities. So well worth the read. Thank you very much.